Good evening, everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much-anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. The ground bombers showing you that intensity that so many of the very best will display during a ring walk. Totally focused. Body Snatcher's making his way to the ring right now, and you can just see in his eyes what his intentions are tonight. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Well, they're scheduled to go to full 12 here tonight. Round one now underway. dismiss that body shot he got caught by that right hand he never saw it coming he may be looking to clinch here scores well that time and right from the start he's throwing the power punches and landing them i think he has a date and he wants to get to it Move your head. teddy early on here you cannot stress enough how much good comes from going to the body and you can't stress how many times you heard your parents tell you as a kid put that change into the piggy bank because it's going to add up well body punches add up What a body shot by the body snatcher. Right to the body. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Final 10 seconds of round number one. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, 
you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I noticed is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. The body snatchers bounces back in his step. Start of a new round coming off of a round in which he really took some punishment. Gets rid of that body shot. Teddy, you gotta like this because he's using that jab the way you like him to. Especially when you're being aggressive. You walk in, you want to walk in where the guy can't see you coming. That jab blinds your opponent. Work the body. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Big flush shot by the Brown Bomber. Wow, is he defensively sound. Wow, what an uppercut. Scored well with that right hand to the body. That's just not good defense. The Brown Bombers rock. That uppercut absolutely rocked him. Boy, I don't like the way. Solid. The Brown Bombers going down. Let's see how he recovers from this. One, two, three, four, five. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. Brown Bomber's punch didn't come close. Come on, kid. The Body Snatchers! Armor penetrated that time with a hook to the body. He's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. The body snatcher's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Bombers defense is paying off now. The body snatcher's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. The Brown Bombers almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. It's too much for The body snatchers just bubbling over with confidence now. Hey, that happens when you score a knockdown in the last round. Yeah, it does. I mean, there's nothing greater than that. I mean, that's like somebody, that's like your boss coming and say, hey, here's a bonus out of nowhere. You feel pretty darn good. Is our boss coming to do that? <laughs> no, they don't do that. Oh, come on. You need to cover up more, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets stopped, but you know what? I think he was more... The body snatchers! Almost out of it there. He was stunned. <clears throat> See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Focus, relax. Flush right hand to the head. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. There you go. Nice 
nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. He missed that uppercut. Halfway through this round. Good way to protect the midsection. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Left to the body. To the head he goes with a left hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. The Brown Bomber's really revealing something here, Teddy. He's giving you the mentality that, hey, it's desperation time. I went down, so now I got to go for broke. Exactly, and what that's also telling me as a trainer is that if he doesn't catch the eye, if he doesn't get lucky right now... Can you believe that? What a change in momentum. He just got rocked moments ago. He was the one hurting his opponent. Reminds you of the song, I can do anything you can do, only better. Keep moving. Unable to score with the hook. Oh. And we come to the end of the round. Okay? We want to see that counter hook. Make him pay for his mistakes. Oh, we need one up there, that's it. I need to punch him. Wait for him to go. Throw that away. Start of round number four, but an interesting fight so far. The Body Snatchers losing this fight one round to two, but keep in mind, the one round that he won, he scored a knockdown. Hey, well, in golf, they say you have to have a short memory. In boxing, sometimes a long memory. He must remember, he can hurt him. He can get back in this. Locks away that headshot. The Body Snatcher's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Keep working the punch. The Brown Bomber's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Really frustrating his opponent now, as he's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. It's much too early for him to be hearing this kind of analysis, but it's true. The Body Snatcher's punches right now are slowing down. He's tired. Yeah, and I'm wondering if he's mentally tired, he's discouraged, or physically he didn't put the work in. Halfway through round number four. The Body Snatcher scoring with that right hand. And he ties up on the inside. He missed with that headshot. Oh, 
Harsh left hand by the body snatcher. The Brown Bombers at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by the body snatcher. A good block. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. And this round comes to an end. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas ringside. I'm just looking up at the corner here at this guy that just got tagged, Teddy, this fighter who just got stunned. And I'm thinking, boy, it's like the air's come out of him a bit. He looks just so dejected now. Yeah, you know, right now he's on the side of a mountain. You know, he's up on a cliff and he needs a rope to get down. So that's what you gotta do, Joe. You don't look and say, hey, he's up on a cliff. We know that. Give him a rope. Give him advice to get down. You're doing well. Round number five has arrived. The Body Snatcher's coming out for this round here, knowing that he was tagged in that last round, Teddy. Now, different guys react in different ways when that happens. It can either bring you up or bring you down. Exactly. You hit it head on, you embrace it. You embrace it as a challenge. You say, okay, I'm going to show what I'm made of. Or you start to become small. You start to vanish a little bit. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. The Brown Bombers defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Turn. Turn. Solid right hand, he lands there. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Great counter punch, and I loved how he moved off to the side and then landed it. Halfway into round number five here. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. And bang, and away he goes. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think he's just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in, he did get it. He got it. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. You need to keep that head moving. Keep working the body. The Brown Bomber's been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do, Joe, is make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighter, when a guy's elusive like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your punches up. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. End of the round is upon us. 
And we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy, what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you're searching to those corners that you're not forced to search. Kind of like when you were a kid just and your mother relax. told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt. Now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself, places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them quick. The Body Snatcher's corner tried to steady him and give him some sound advice with the 60 seconds they had to work with him. But keep in mind, he was knocked down in that last round. Well, the most important thing is his experience. Has this happened to him before? Can he justify it in his mind that he's overcome it before? Also, his corner, did they revive him? Did they do their job during that minute rest? Able to get rid of that one. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. The Brown Bombers putting on a show here. Defensively putting on a show. And it's helping his offense because, you know, he's creating holes. He's creating opportunities. Holes that he's filling. And yet another big shot comes in. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown but he still has to impress and move forward here yeah i applaud him i give him credit but i also recognize that he's in good shape that's one of the reasons he got up <laughs> the body snatcher is able to avoid that punch halfway through round six looking for some room and he found a way to get it distance such a key factor always teddy when it comes to defense with his good foot movement he's been keeping that distance his opponent how does he close that gap properly well first of all he's got to use his jab to close it because he's getting picked off coming in he's getting pot shotted so he's got to have something coming at his opponent that keeps him distracted use that jab now don't use it conventionally joe you're jabbing at the head you're not finding nothing you're just finding space so jab a little lower Drop the sights a little bit. Jab at his chest. Just so you touch something, and then you can work your way in. You can start to find them a little. Takes one, but nice. gives one. Good work by the body snatcher. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. <clears throat> And round six comes to an end. The Brown Bomber's in a position now where he should be able to bring home a win. If things stay the way they are, he's clearly headed towards a win. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard, but he has to make sure he doesn't, like in football, go into that prevent defense. If he starts just moving, just staying away a little bit, now the things that were keeping his opponent from coming in that front door, well, guess what? They're not there no more. His opponent could get back into this fight. Over the hump, the back end of the fight now begins. The body snatcher's got to be careful here, Teddy, because he can't stay like this. Yes, he's throwing punches, but not being effective at all. No, he's not. He's not landing. And that's bad for the scorecards, but as he continues doing this, it's going to be bad for his chin because he's going to start now getting countered. As time goes by, the more he misses, now his opponent's going to start doing the other part. He's going to come back and take advantage of those misses. That's what I want. 
Power shot lands, and all of a sudden it turns the tables. A little slow with that jab, and he got caught the right hand. You got this. One, two, one, two. <laughs> Solid hook. The Brown Bombers left now getting into the mix. Good defensive skill. Very nice defensive guard there. Face yourself. <laughs> nice strike after catching one by the Brown Bomber. And round seven comes to an end. Jab more, jab more, jab more. We got it. Nice run. That was good. We have this one. Uh, all we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that, no. Throw that away. Don't get careless, okay? Don't fight his fight. This could be a lesson learned. The Brown Bombers going about this as if it's a sprint. It's not. Here we are early on in round number eight. He's up big, but how much does he have left? Yeah, he miscalculated, I think, a little bit. You made a good point making that analogy. You know, this, this is more of a marathon. This is not a sprint, at least a mile. And he's let too much out early on. He's got to start worrying. I think his corner's a little concerned. What's he got left? Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Keep on, keep on. The Brown Bombers' knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is the solid. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's gotta survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Keep working the jab. Good, good.
Good block. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the body snatcher. Placed left hand there. Listen, I'm not going to stand here and watch you take those shots. You understand me? Let's see some defense and more punches. You're okay. Don't worry. You're doing fine. I need you. Me. You're not giving me enough. Start of the round, but Teddy, it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is special inside somebody, where they can go to a place you never expect them to be able to go to. Look at Archie Moore, Yvonne Durrell, years ago. Archie Moore was over 40 years old. In there with a 20-something-year-old Durrell, he was on the floor three times in the first round. He found a way to come back and knock him out in the 11th. Is this another one of those nights? Big shot. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitcher, great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. The fight is over. The Brown Bombers, hand to be raised in victory. He scores the knockout here tonight. what you want to see a guy who can close the show and finish with style he ends up a knockout victor tonight and that's what his trainer wanted his trainer was even telling him step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible and they got it good enjoyable entertaining fight it was for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore saying thanks for being with us